Hello everybody, it's Laura Morley here and I am back for a nappy chat and this time I have the beautiful Michelle who is going to be um, chatting with me today. Um, so Michelle, if you want to introduce yourself and let me know how you got started with the journey of using cloth. Yeah, so hi, I'm Michelle and I have um, been using cloth nappies probably for about um, almost probably 12 years now. My oldest one's 12, so I've got six kids and the youngest one she'll be two in December um right back to the first start was kind of like we had the Huggies brand only in disposables back in those days um and the Huggies nappies was like really really expensive and I was like a teen mum so I had my first baby at about uh 17 when I had my first baby and so I couldn't really afford much at that time but um I had the old school pre-flats that you kind of just used to fold up and then you'd pin them. And so I did that for a while and then um, probably about my second child was born in 2009 and that's when I kind of got introduced to um, modern cloth nappies. That was like the first time I'd ever used cloth nappies, like the proper ones, like what we have in today. Um, so it was a huge change because they were like poppers as well. So I've gone from like, you know, pinning them to like poppers. So that was a huge change. And then over the years and up until about now, I've um, swapped, gone through quite a few different brands, but I've got quite a lot of, of um, sassy pants ones now. So yeah, I've gone through quite a few and found the ones I like and found ones I didn't like. So yeah. So what yeah. is it that you are enjoying about cloth nappies at the moment? Like why, why are you using them and, and what do you love? So I don't do disposables, um, particularly with my, my sex baby, because she has quite sensitive skin that she actually got severe chemical reaction to the chemicals that they use in disposable nappies in today. Um, and we tried lots of different brands for her because she's quite a heavy wetter as well, which is quite a bit of a pain sometimes, especially during night. Um, and so, yeah, because of the, basically just the chemical burning and the reactions that she was having, um, we just went changed to cloth full time. So she has, um, cloth nappies at daycare because she just started daycare yesterday full time as well. So she's only going for like two days a week and she's, um, her in-home carer has never used cloth nappies in her whole life <laughs> and she's got like I think she's got five kids and um so I've introduced her to the sassy pants nappies because they're just the easiest ones to use so she goes to daycare with those now so I'm kind of like um yeah using them at home and using them out and about and using them at daycare as well and it's just it's so easy and then just to come home and just chuck them in the washing machine um as well and both having six kids at you know the amount of cloth um amount of disposable nappies you'd have going in the recycling like the rubbish bin and things like that too so it kind of reduces that rubbish bin for us as well this space wise and how do you find cleaning um cloth nappies um i know quite a few of my friends are quite squirmish when it comes to that sort of thing but i really don't have a problem like i just use the avent bottle brush and i just brush off the poop into the toilet or whatever and then just um chuck them in the washing machine do a rinse cycle and then once that rinse cycle's finished then i'll just chuck all my clothes in with it and then just do a proper normal wash so it's it's just yeah it is a little bit more time consuming because you have to get rid of the poop in that first with cloth nappies but i don't know i just i enjoy it like i enjoy using my cloth nappies and I, washing them doesn't bother me yeah, I mean the thing is, is with people using disposables, you're actually supposed to put the poo in the toilet anyway, and I never knew that <laughs> when <laughs> I first had my son. I never, no one ever told me that you were supposed to put the poo in the toilet, even if it's a disposable. So uh, yeah, everyone's supposed to be putting the poo in the toilet and then either throwing it in the wash or throwing it in the bin, depending on whether you're using disposables or cloth, obviously. Um, so I, what kind of uh, um, stuff are you using in terms of cleaning products and stuff like that um, with your nappies at the moment? Are you finding any particular, um, you know, powder or liquid or whatever that seems to really do the business in terms of getting them nice and clean? Yeah, so I've tried um, all sorts of different liquids and soaps as well. And because my kids have, um, like we have eczema, so we have quite sensitive skin as well. So I've got to be really mindful of that when using obviously chemicals, washing my nappies and clothes. 
um, they brought out like a green, a green um, laundry powder. I can't remember, rock and green or whatever it was. Um, and we tried that, but she just reacted to it really badly. Um, which I ended up throwing those cloth nappies that I'd washed the wash with that out because for whatever reason I couldn't get it out and she was just reacting nonstop. So I got rid of that. But I've gone back to using Persil sensitive liquid. And what I'm doing is doing a because I've got a brand new washing machine yesterday. <laughs> so I did um a pre-wash in that liquid and then um and then just another wash with that liquid as well. So I'm just using liquid. Um then Persil sensitive one, but I'm also putting canistine in it. So I do a canistine with it as well, and that's actually getting um, a lot of it out. Um, so I'm not getting any reactions or anything using the canistine and that liquid together. So because it's working for us, that's just what we've kind of kept to. Yeah. And do you um, use like any nappy cream or anything like that with her or not? Yeah, so the sodium cream um, is my worst nightmare. I think it's every parent's worst nightmare, that sodium cream, because once it gets on the carpet and clothes, it does not come it's off. It's so bad. <laughs> and you personally, um, you know, your first reaction would be hot water to get rid of it, wash it off of hot water. It just makes it a thousand times worse. Like, it just smudges it, but doesn't come off. So I'm like, oh, my God. Um, so what I've started doing is I cut up an old sheet that was cotton, and I just – cut it um so I trace around the net the sassy pants um insert um and then kind of made it a bit smaller than that and then used my machine and hemmed around it so it kind of made a um reusable liner yes but it wasn't. so yeah. I've been using that inside so if I use bum cream it goes onto that but doesn't go through onto the actual nappy because if it goes onto the actual nappy with any nappy I find it left like a black mark Mm. Or the cream is still on and it hasn't come off. So I've got a couple of nephews that still haven't got the sodium cream off. Yeah. So using the the cotton sheet liners, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, that's and right. I find it such a, a quick and easy way. Because obviously when you remove the poo as well, it's all on the liner. But yeah. only like the sides of like, you know, where the legs are on the side bits that kind of leak out past the liner, get onto the nappy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the sunlight is amazing because that just what was yellow or you know it's just gone but you need the sunlight for that yeah um so do you prefer using the snaps or do you like using the velcro better along the waist <laughs> um my mum prefers like when I take it to my mum my mum prefers the velcro it's just easier she can she feels that she can personally get like a tighter fit around her legs um, my husband likes the Velcro as well, but I'm I'm totally like I don't mind Velcro or snaps. It doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah, it's just a personal preference, I think. Yeah, my, I've, I've kind of been thinking we need to start this hashtag Dad approved. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely people keep contacting me and saying that their partner will only use the Velcro. It's like they're saving grace for cloth nappies because it's too overwhelming the thought of which which button to put where, and I don't know how to make it work. But the Velcro feels a bit more like a disposable, doesn't it? Yeah, so I asked my husband which one he preferred, and he said Velcro, and I said, okay, why the Velcro? And he said, honestly, um, he's like, my fingers are just too fat that I can't do the snaps up. So Velcro doesn't have to worry about having real, you know, manly fat hands and fat fingers. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> my, my theory is, is if they're happy to change a Velcro nappy, all power to them. As long as you don't have to do every nappy change, it's all good, eh? <laughs> yeah, he will go through, if he's babysitting, he'll go through them and will look and dig out the Velcro ones because he, yeah, his fingers are so fat. He's just like, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so what message would you want to give to other mums or dads who are thinking about starting the cloth journey and they haven't started yet? What kind of advice or have you got a tip or anything or anything that you want to give them a message about? Yeah, so... um probably the thing I found the most rewarding was my midwife she used to swear black and blue about having the pre-fold flat old school nappies because you can use them for burping cloths and everything like that and change you know little change mats and stuff so I kept all those and I find like because my daughter's a really heavy wetter that if I fold them up I can still fit them inside nappies and they're actually the most absorbent thing you'd actually ever come across well, is those yeah so yeah, so nighttime, use those flat cloth nappies because you 
won't get an insert that's more absorbent than those old school cotton ones. Yeah. You know what I really like how we've moved on with modern cloth nappies in the way is is in the way that you don't have to worry about pins anymore. That makes yeah, me feel so nappies. joyful because I always had this thing where I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to use cloth nappies because I can't, it's just going to be too hard, you know? And you have all these visions, but I think you just make it work, don't you? Because, and that's the thing is uh, with Sassy Pants, we're all about like there's no rules and yeah. you just need to find what works best for you and for your child. And obviously you've managed to do that like really successfully because you've managed to do cloth for so many years, which is just amazing. Um, and I just can't even imagine how much money you've saved over the years. Oh, like it must be astronomical. <laughs> and I always, yeah, they're just so expensive. But the problem is, is if you go for the cheaper disposables, yes. although they're cheaper, they're still going to get that nasty chemical rash because of all the chemicals they've got to put into that, you know, even though they're cheap, I guess is probably why they're so probably nasty. Some, you know, some of them are nasty. I mean, I know that there are some of my friends do do full-time disposables and I know that their kids don't react to it, but I know I just seem to have those children that react to the chemicals. Yeah. Well, and so, if you had an alternative that's worked well for you, you know? Yeah, it's about finding what, yeah, like I say, it's about finding what suits your child because every child's different. Their skin's going to be different. Yeah. It's not going to be the same. And what works for like, say for example, your first one was in disposable nappies and it worked fine. You might have a second child and it might be completely different. It might be that disposable doesn't work for that child. So then you're going to have to find an alternative and cloth nappies are so easy. They're not hard work. Yeah. You know, they, they're just like putting a disposable on, except for they're not full of chemicals. Yeah, true. And I think the other thing that you've said too is that you can customize it to what your daughter needs. So, you know, it's got more flexibility in terms of adding boosters or taking boosters away, depending on where she's at. So that's really cool. Has, have you got a favorite that um, she really likes wearing at the moment? <laughs> she's, I don't know, she's, she's running around the house somewhere, but she's got her favorite one on. Um, I don't, I can't remember what it's called, but it's that white one with the, the flowers on it. The watercolour flowers. That one's by um, Rebecca Broughton, who's an artist based out of um, Whanganui. Um, and she's got a little boy who's actually probably a similar age to your little girl, actually. Um, so yeah, she painted it on watercolour and then we scanned it onto the computer and, and got them made into like repeating patterns. The other thing that I I will say that um, we went on holiday and we didn't do take cloth nappies because there was no washing machine because we were going to like a camping ground. Yeah. So we take disposables to um, away with us and I honestly regretted it a thousand times because the amount of poo explosions we had out the side of her legs or particularly up her back, I said to my husband, now if we had cloth nappies with us, this would not be happening right now you know, dealing with it all up her back and in the car seat. It was just, it was a nightmare. So I yeah. really have times where I've completely um, missed my cloth nappies when I've had to go to disposables. Um, but even like now, if I have to use disposables, I will still put a cotton liner inside the disposable to try and help her to not, you know, react to it as much. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. One thing for new parents, cloth nappies save a whole lot of poo explosions. <laughs> <laughs> car seats in the car because they happen all the time oh the yeah <laughs> isn't it funny though when they're just on milk and the poo just just seems to be so liquidy and it can just happen at any time and it always seems to be when you want to be somewhere and then suddenly you're like there's just poo and it's just <laughs> yeah I, with the sassy pants we tried to make it that there was really good elastic along the back and I think it actually contains the poo armies pretty well so yeah yeah but yeah well, we definitely like oh, definitely here we've got a bit of a stash going on here oh you have <laughs> But most of so there's actually quite a few of them in the wash at the moment too, because she went to day here the last two days, so I'm just catching up on that washing. Yeah. I've been busy, but um, oh, here she is. Come here, Bubba. Come show everybody your lovely nappy that you like. So this is it. Oh, this is the cute. <laughs> so we've got I the pretty it. big bum, and she's got the amazing waddle when she walks. So when she walks, her bum moves from side to side, and it's really cute. <laughs> but yeah. 
doctors and that have loved like when she had her jabs her all her baby jabs she was wearing like cloth nappies and they all made the comment that her nappies were just so amazing and so beautiful yeah oh i'm so pleased that they bring joy for for you um and i will continue to try and, and create beautiful nappies i'll have to make some training pants that are beautiful as well because i'm sure you'll be toilet training soon oh yes i've had uh, quite a few friends ask me about the toilet training undies and i'm like yeah, that's definitely going to be the next thing. But I tell you, another thing I've learned through the years of doing um, cloth yeah. is if your child's wearing, um, if you do cloth nappies over disposables, you have less toilet training troubles than you would with a disposable baby because they actually know and can, they, they, they can feel it. Where at a disposable, they take that feeling away from them. Yeah. And so my almost two-year-old, she goes to the potty um, and she, you know, goes potties with no problems because she can she knows when she's doing it yeah so she's it gives them that awareness doesn't it like i wee and i feel wet and i and i make the connection between yeah. that's happening yeah so she'll quite often come up to me and, and you know and pat her nappy to say that she needs to be changed because she's wet or she stinks yeah she, i think the awareness in the cloth nappies is so much better too Oh, that's fantastic. This has been such an awesome chat. Um, I can't wait for other people to watch it because I think they're going to learn heaps from your journey. So thank you so much for your time and for sharing the journey with us. That's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping an eye out for more, um, more patterns <laughs> and I'm kind of hoping eventually that an ambulance one comes out because there's been so many prints, but no, like there's never been any ambulance ones. Oh my gosh, I have not had a request for ambulance ones. This is a new <laughs> development. <laughs> yes, of police and heaps of fire engines, but I'm like, what about me? Like, you know, it's never been an ambulance one for us, but one day maybe we'll be lucky. <laughs> That's great. All right, have a great day. All right, you too.